Hello everybody, welcome again to my channel. You know, today I want to talk to you briefly about social media and the purpose that it is serving. Now, if you notice, social media has caused a lot of people to become more anti-social. I don't know if most of you notice it. There was a time when people used to take up the phone and call. Now they just send around stuff. Whatever little video they get, they share it and that's it. You haven't seen some family members for years. And rather than take up the phone and call, maybe a video for you to see what they look like. They'd rather just send something, some video that, you know, some awareness video and all of that. And I believe that social media has allowed us to become more anti-social than anything else. Now, when you have a monopoly on media and a monopoly on information, that's a very dangerous thing. And I noticed that it's not just in the communist country that these things are happening. It's happening right here in Canada. It's happening right here. Um, in, uh, it's happening in the USA. It's happening all around. Now, if you look at the history of these behaviors, back in the Dark Ages, let's go back in the Dark Ages, the church, the Catholic Church, used to hide the Bible from people. They like when people are in ignorance. And when people are in ignorance, then you can tend to rule them and control them. So the church back then used to control information from the Bible. Today, and as a matter of fact, um, during the time of slavery, Black people was not allowed to go to schools and, in, and they were not um, allowed to read and write. If they were caught reading and, and learning or learning to read, they would be in big, big trouble. So there was a monopoly on ignorance and they want people to stay in the darkness. Now come right back into our day. We, it's hard to believe that we are in a democracy. Because in a democracy, you don't censor information. In a democracy, you, there's a thing called free speech by the Constitution. But the question is, is this happening now? And it is a resounding no. Because a lot of um, people's channel, like on YouTube, are getting blacklisted. Some are the, of their videos are being um, delisted. Uh, some of the things that... The words that you use, they are censored. So what you find, like my channel, I have uh, nearly 24,000 subscribers, but I barely get 100 views because it is not that people don't want to hear what I say, but your, the channel is being heavily uh, shadow banned, heavily censored. Uh, and, and if you notice too, even while you're sharing things on WhatsApp, sometimes there's a very important information going around. WhatsApp has now um, controlled that information flow by telling you you can only share it with five people and sometimes when the video is forwarded too much, you can only share it with one person at a time, which is really a way of saying we don't really want you to share it, so we're making it hard for you to share it. Um, and it's very con disconcerting when you think about it. If you post some things on fa uh, Facebook, they too are uh, call it fact checking and they, they take down the video as soon as you put it up because they don't want you to be sharing certain information. Now, this is an information warfare that is going on and I think it is bad. And this is what happens when companies get too big for their own use because small creators like myself and many others have been facing a challenge and as a matter of fact some of us have become so demotivated because it takes so much of your time to really put a video together the other, the other day I take about three weeks just to get some video clippings to put a video together and then when you look it's it's it's, it's not even getting the views that it deserves because it is maybe shadow banned or whatever it is the 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 the, the, the bots uh, and the algorithm are not recommending the videos so you'll find that you're you're doing this work and you're you're losing your eyesight by steering a lot you're getting corporal tunnel using the the editing software a lot it takes a lot of out of creators to to create a video and we are being disrespected by youtube because 
as far as I'm concerned, is disrespecting us because the, I mean, you constantly, uh, because you have this massive amount of, of of people that are uploading videos, you decide that some of the us are not important. So you decide that you're going to just relegate some of us to the trash heap, and that is wrong, YouTube. It's wrong, Facebook. It's wrong, Instagram. It's wrong, Twitter. As a matter of fact, when I see that they censor the President of the United States of America, I know that we are in trouble. We are in trouble. When they can silence the President of the United States, I'm not a Donald Trump fan, I'm just saying, information is supposed to be free. It doesn't matter. We're in a free country. No, we can't. As a matter of fact, sometimes you speak against certain things that you don't believe in, then you hear it's hate speech. So that's a little cute way of there telling you that you must shut up. Don't talk about these things. So they're shutting up a lot of people. But let me tell you something. You know, I have got to say this. And it may sound harsh. You look back on the Titanic. The Titanic, there's a saying that the captain of the ship says that this ship, not even God himself could sink it. That was how big and powerful that ship it was to them. Where's the Titanic today? The Titanic, as you and I know, hit an iceberg. And that was the end of the Titanic. Everything, you know, is just for a time. I tell you, everything is just for a time. Yeah? I know big organization, like as, as, as a Jamaican, I can tell you that there's a company called Jamaica Telephone Company. I used to work with them. And they used to monopolize the, the telephone industry. When you apply for a phone, it's 15 years before you get a phone. Many people back then. Until... The information space was disrupted by Digicel coming um, coming into the country and then they had to be in shambles. I remember we used to lay cables to put up, um, you know, those um, coin phones. Yes, we used to cable and wire, and then it moved from telephone, Jamaica Telephone Company to cable and wireless. And we used to uh, go around and set up those call phones. And you can use card or you can use coins. Then that was totally obliterated. It's so it, I'm just saying it's just a matter of time. Some of these organ organizations don't understand. No matter how big you think you are, one of these days you're going to be irrelevant and redundant. And it's one because of the arrogance. Two, it's because of what you have done to people, and people are going to turn their back upon that. So it's just, I'm sure somebody right now is working on alternatives. We, we, need, we need alternatives to YouTube. We need alternatives to, um, to Facebook. We need alternatives to Instagram, Twitter. All of these people who are controlling and centralizing information and then turn around and censoring people. People need to get away from these platforms because they have cho chosen to disrespect people who are creators. They have chosen the, 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 to, 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 to make our efforts of none effect. And they think that the little peanuts that they give us every month, that is going to do anything. That's not gonna, that doesn't do much for us. As a matter of fact, I don't know about others. I don't even rely on that, the peanuts that they give us at the end of the month. And it's not that I'm ungrateful. I'm thankful for what I got from them. But when they start doing these things, it's bad for the platform. It's horrible, it's terrible, it's a monopoly on information, it's controlling, it's censoring, it's disrespecting creators. So, I just say to you people, um, I, I, I will pu publish from time to time, but I have lost motivation from what YouTube is doing and what, the, what I see Facebook. I, as, as a matter of fact, I have just um, kind of, what do you call it, deactivate my Facebook um, stuff because recently i posted something and they, they 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 took it down um and i was just sharing something which was good and i noticed that there's a, a big censorship that is going on the control of information is bad for any democracy it is tantamount to what you call tyranny it's tantamount to control it's tantamount to ignorance because if I didn't have some of these videos come to me, trust me, I would be paranoid over this so-called virus that they have. I would be paranoid, but some of those videos has helped me 
to not become so paranoid about what is happening, right? And so it's good to have different opinions. When you start shutting up people, you know, when you start shutting up people, then it says that you don't want people to, to hear certain things, right? Let everybody hear what they need to hear and decide for themselves. We can't have people choosing for adults what they need to hear. And that is what is exactly happening. There's a saying, as I close, that in heaven, the devil tells a, tell a lot of lies on God. And if God had killed the devil, then the angels would have become suspicious that maybe he was telling the truth about God. That's why God killed him. So what God did, God allowed him to roam so that he can prove himself. And eventually we see who is telling the lie or who is the wicked one. And um, so when they, in other words, when they are shutting people down and shutting people up and censoring people, it shows that something they are, they are hiding something or they don't want the people to know some things. Who are you to determine who and what people listen to? People should be allowed to listen both sides of the coin and determine for themselves what is fact, what is fiction. Yeah, but right now we are being it is being decided for us, and and we are and some some information is being relegated to the trash heap while they are pushing uh, their agenda, and we know how that goes. Anyway, people, I just thought I would share that with us. So if you don't see me posting a lot, it's because it doesn't, it isn't worth my time when I fix a video, do a video, and it's getting 60 views and stuck. It doesn't make sense for me. It's a waste of my time, but I still, from time to time, will do it. So y'all walk good. Take care. Keep your eyes on Jesus Christ because everything is coming to an end and everything is only temporary. Remember I said that before. It is temporary. Everything. Look back in history. People are temporary. No matter how big and powerful you are, you are temporary. No matter how big and powerful your platform, you are temporary. No matter how big and powerful you can, your money is, you are temporary. Just remember that. Everybody likes sardines and medications. They have expiry date on them. You have an expiry date. I have an expiry date. All these corporations have an expiry date. And the word of God says, Babylon is falling, is falling, is falling. Babylon will fall soon and very soon. What good. Blessed.